I'm Connie. Welcome to my channel, Cooking with Connie and More. Let's make some sausage and veggie frittata. A sausage and veggie frittata. I already have here in my mixing bowl eight eggs. And in this bowl, I'm going to put, first of all, some sausage. I'm using my Thrive Life freeze-dried foods. And I'm going to get some sausage in there first. Probably that's about, I don't know, not quite a quarter of a cup. And I'm going to go ahead and pour a little milk in there to let that begin to refresh and hydrate. This sausage is already cooked, crumbled, drained. I don't have to do all that. What a convenience. That is the Thrive Life sausage crumbles. And I will put the information about how you can get Thrive Life foods in the description at the end of this post. And next I'm going to add to that some Thrive Life spinach. And in with this I also have some chili peppers. I have just a little bit of chili peppers left in the can, so in order to make more space in my pantry, I just added it into my spinach. So I, I use those together a lot, so that will be very convenient. And I'm going to begin to stir that up a little bit. Now you can refresh this with water if you want to. But I typically will put milk or sour cream or both in my frittata anyway. So this will be milk. It'll add more nutrients, more protein, more calcium. And there we go with that. Now I'm going to add about a tablespoon or so of red bell pepper. Oh boy, this is going to add not only some nutrition, additional nutrition, it's also going to add some color to the frittata. How about some zucchini? Mmm. More nutrition, more green stuff. That means more nutrients. I'm not putting a lot of that in there because I have so much spinach in there already. Now, if you're making this kind of a dish, veggie, frittata, or quiche, you can put whatever vegetables you like. You might want to put broccoli. Personally, I prefer just what we're having here today. So that is refreshing nicely. And I'm going to add a little bit more milk because I believe that needs a little bit more moisture in there. And of course, when we mix it in with the eggs, that adds moisture as well. All right, speaking of eggs, I'm going to break up these eggs. I have here, like I said, eight eggs. I have eight eggs because that is what works well for my pan that I'm going to use to cook this. So here we have eight eggs and all these wonderful vegetables and sausage. You can do it without the sausage if you don't want to add meat or if you don't like pork. You could actually add any other kind of meat that you would want in there. Now, I'm going to look at these beautiful vegetables that are hydrating nicely. And I'm going to add those into the eggs. <clears throat> My oven is preheating at 375 degrees. And I have a pan ready. I actually, my pan is on the stove heating a little bit because I wanted to melt some butter and coconut oil in my pan to get that ready to pour this into. Now, 
I'm going to add some sour cream, a couple tablespoons of sour cream into this mixture. It'll help to make it smooth and creamy like. You know what? I was about to forget a couple of things. I'll just add them in now. I have here some onion. This is chopped onion, Thrive Life chopped onion. I'm going to put a fair amount of that in there. And if you have noticed, I have here two different size, sizes of cans of Thrive Life foods. This is the number 10 can, the larger can, and this is what's called the pantry can. This larger can is about the size of a paint can. And then this is called the number 10 can. So, there we have that. And one other item that I didn't add yet. Oh boy, mushrooms. Mm, do you like mushrooms? I'm going to get, that's probably about two tablespoons of mushrooms. We could add more vegetables, but because of the size pan I'm using, this will be just fine. So these are the Thrive Life mushrooms. Now all of these vegetables are just exactly what it says on the can. There are no it's no GMO, no preservatives added. They, the moisture and the oxygen has been taken out of our freeze-dried foods. And it says right on the can, the ingredients, mushrooms. And that's it. And here we have the red bell peppers and the ingredients listed red bell peppers okay i don't think i've missed anything now except for the cheese and it is time for that let me go ahead and push those mushrooms down into that liquid this is thrive life cheddar cheese and what's in this can Let's check the ingredients. It contains milk because the cheese is made from milk. But it has no other ingredients, no preservatives, nothing in there to... There, It has a little bit of um, starch to prevent caking. And it says right here exactly what's in this can of cheese. I don't know if you can read that from there. On the website, you can get exactly all of that. Now, I will tell you the where did I put the sausage? The sausage has a little bit of spices added, a little bit of sugar, and a little bit of spices. And it tells right here on the can exactly what's in there. But for the fruits and vegetables, it's just what what you see is what you get. For the mushrooms, it's mushrooms. For the onions, it's onions. Now here I have this cheese that is refreshed and I'm going to add, I have about almost two cups in this little bowl and I'm going to add that in and mix it up and then the rest of that I will be putting on the top. So let me get my pan over here and <clears throat> I have made a little bit of a mess. Where did I put my dishcloth? I spilled the milk trying to pour just a small amount out of there a minute ago. So in this pan, as I told you, I have heated coconut oil and butter. I don't know if you cook with coconut oil. It's very healthy. It's a good healthy fat to use. So I'm just going to swish that around in the pan a little bit. And because it is hot on the bottom, I'm going to set it on that little trivet. Now, I'm going to stir again. I'm going to actually, I have this here for a reason. I'm going to whip this a little bit to just incorporate some air. 
and I was about to forget spices. This is the Thrive Life Spice Blend. It's just called Chef's Choice All Purpose Spice Blend. I'm going to add, I'm going to add a little bit of that in there, and it, it's just like it says a spice blend. And I'm going to add to that a little bit more pepper. Did you know that pepper is good for you? And I'm going to also add salt. It has a little bit of salt, but not much. Did you know salt is not good for you? So, well, for most people, for a lot of people, we do need some sodium in our systems. Okay. This is well blended. And I'm going to pour that into my prepared pan. I've got plenty of fat in there with the coconut oil and the butter. My oven is preheated at 375 degrees. So this is ready to go into the oven. And I'm going to stop the video for just a few minutes while this bakes. So let's... Okay, look what we have here that's ready to come out of the oven. Just a couple of minutes ago, I sprinkled the other half of that cheese onto our frittata, and it's melting nicely. Just look at that. I really like the green and the red. It looks a little bit Christmassy, doesn't it? So this is going to be our supper for tonight. It's perfect for breakfast, lunch, dinner, supper, whatever you like to call it. And let me show you, here's a little bonus, what we're going to have with our frittata. This is applesauce, just normal, regular, unsweetened applesauce. And I have here some Thrive Life bananas. Oh boy. And I am going to put some bananas into this applesauce, some sliced bananas. Okay. Now this is going to be one serving. I'll make two servings. Here's the bowl for the second serving for my husband and I. And blueberries. Now, Sometimes I will put fruit like this in orange juice, which is delicious also. We really like that too. And then also I have pineapple. Oh boy, this is so good. And I have a large can of the blueberries. By the way, the shelf life on our freeze-dried foods is 25 years. And after you have opened a can, you do need to eat it within one year. So when I open a can, I write the month and year that I have opened a can on the top. Uh-oh. Sorry about that. I was about to leave the potato in there a little bit longer, but then I realized it was done enough. Pineapple. Mmm, this is one of my favorite things. So I'm putting some pineapple in there also. Another nice thing that you could add to a fruit compote like this would be any kind of nuts that you like. Walnuts, pecans, almonds. We especially like it with walnuts. Now I'm going to stir this around a little bit. And this in our opinion, is best when those, what, oh, what, I thought I had strawberries here too, oh, I don't have my strawberries out, and I thought I had some, oh gosh, that will add just another element of wonderful, wonderfulness, so, and we like to eat this before the fruit actually gets hydrated and soft while it's crunchy. Mm. It's just a treat. So we will have our fruit compote. I almost picked up that up without my mitts. And our veggie 
and sausage frittata. I will have the recipe for this in the description here. And I really appreciate you checking in and watching. And uh, thank you so much. And God bless you.